What a bite, they yeah, Robbie from Premier Lawns. Today we're going to cut the lawn for the first time with our cylinder mower. For anyone just joining us, this is a lawn that we killed off last September. It was covered in weed grasses and we've shown you every step of the way. Time has finally come. We're going to get the cylinder mower out. We're going to give the lawn a cut for the first time with the cylinder mower. This uh, marks a new chapter in my lawn care. Absolutely fantastic. If you'd have told me this time last year that we're going to kill off the lawn, redo it, and install a really nice lawn. There was a nice lawn here anyway, but if... So, there we go, let's get to it. So this is my new lawn mower. Whenever I say new, it's new to me. Although I think it's about 30 years old, whenever I picked it up, and since then, any time I started, it starts on the first pull. There was plenty of life in the cylinder, and we've since had it sharpened. An old cylinder mower that's sharp is every bit as good as a new lawnmower, as long as it's set up properly. So, this device here is called a setting bar and we use it to set the height of cut on the cylinder mower. Now, I do have the lawnmower set to 20 mil. On this occasion, I won't be adjusting it. If you want to see how we adjust them, leave me a comment down below and let me know and we'll do that in a future video. A setting bar is a very easy tool to use. We're rested against the roller the roller at the back of the machine and then the roller at the front of the machine and that screw drops into the bottom blade, we'll call that the sole plate. And then if we want to raise the head of cut or lower the head of cut, we'll adjust the front roller on the machine. A quick check with the roller to see the height of the cut we have been cutting the lawn at 30 mil with the rotary mower, and now with the cylinder mower, we're going to start cutting it at 20 mil. Before we get into it, guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you smash that like button down there because it really helps me out, and subscribe for more videos like this. As the grass starts to grow later on in the season, we'll be dropping the height of cut. I've been getting a lot of requests about what's the best fertilizer and what fertilizer should you use. I'm going to dive into soil sands and we're going to start looking at some biostimulants. One teaspoon of healthy soil contains more living organisms than there are people on Earth. Products that we put on our lawns can encourage worms and nematodes that are microscopic plants, fungi, bacteria, and they are all going to work really hard to keep your lawn in good condition. So we're going to be diving into biostimulants and seaweeds and fertilizers that are going to encourage that wildlife below your garden. If you think of your lawn as a jungle and what we can do to improve it it's going to give you a much better lawn, long term. Training my dad, Chris, up on the new lawnmower. He's not doing too bad at it, considering he's only 76.
So we'll give the lawn a double cut just to really get that nice stripe. I'm really looking forward to this summer to see how well we can get the lawn looking. If I was to buy this more today, new, it would be around £6,000 plus VAT. Guys, as ever, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash that like button down below. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.